Lord, we'll use our lips this morning. We'll use our hands this morning. We'll use our feet this morning. We'll use our heart this morning. Consecrate the mighty God for your service, God. Lord God, as we give you praise, will you pull down, oh God Almighty. Help us, God. Help us this morning, God, to pull down self. Anything, God, that want to exalt itself above the knowledge of God, we pull them down. Father God, we place them on our feet this morning and you'll be glorified in Jesus' wonderful name. Father, we thank you. Father, we praise you. Is there someone who can just lift up the name of Jesus? Is there someone who can just worship him right where you sit or you stand this morning? Hallelujah, we thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory. Glory, glory be all praise to you, God. Because of who you are, we give you glory. Because of who you are, we give you praise. Because of who you are, we will lift up our voice and sing. Lord, we worship you. Because of who you are. If you know this song, could you sing along with us this morning? Because of who you are, I give you glory. Because of who you are, I give you praise.
great, how great, how powerful, how wonderful, <laughs> how awesome, how magnificent. the Lord could you just lift up the name of Jesus he is so great he is so mighty he alone is worthy he alone deserves our praise how great how great how great is our God <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. morning I take it an opportunity real opportunity to come before you as your moderator this morning I am not worthy of this position but it's because of the blood of Jesus Christ why I am here I can stand here to represent my God and so without Further ado, I would ask Dale, Sister Dahlia if she could help us to sing this song. It's in our hymnal. Blessed Jesus, hold my hands. Hallelujah. The songwriter, As I just a minute, Sister Dahlia. The songwriter said, as I travel through this pilgrim land, and today we are traveling through this land right at this moment the pandemic everything is going right down okay so this morning we're just gonna sing this with everything that we have in us and for those who are at home i just want you to open up your hymnals and to sing down the place make your neighbor hear what one in a church this morning hallelujah come on let us sing Travel to this pilgrim land. There is a friend who walks with me. Oh, lead me safely to the sinking land. It is a cross of Calvary. This will be my burden, Lord, each day.
just hold my hand. It's hold my hands, Almighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Deacon Powell. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We are inviting you now to come and give the hope in prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout Jesus. Jesus. Blessed Jesus. Jesus. Hold my hand. Woo. Hallelujah. What a song. Hallelujah. Only Jesus alone can hold our hand in this time that we are living in. Blessed Jesus. Hold my hand. Hold my hand, Lord. Because if you don't hold my hand in this time, oh God, I will let go. But hold my hand, Lord. Hold me, Jesus. Hold me, hold me, hold me. Somebody want Jesus to hold them this morning. Said, hold my hand, God. Hold my hand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We worship your God. We worship you this morning. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, God, that we are alive today. Oh, God, in spite of we are still here. Oh, we have so much to praise God for. We have so much to glorify and lift up the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. When Israel, oh, the bondage came, I see before them lay. The Lord reached down his mighty hand and he rolled the sea away. Then power still. This Jehovah's will. Oh, the billows that dash and spread with a conquering tread will push ahead and you roll the sea away. Master of the sea. Master of the storm, King of kings and Lord of lords, conquering lion from the tribe of Judah, El Shaddai, God, the big powerful one, the only wise, great, awesome, infinite God, invisible, invincible God, the creator of the universe, the creator of mankind. Oh Lord God, we come this morning to say thank you God. Thank you Lord for life. Thank you God for your son Jesus Christ. Oh God who oh God gave his life. Oh God for us who became sin for us who knew no sin but take the place of us. Lord we thank you this morning for Jesus. Oh God who died on the cross. Oh God was brutally killed. Oh God Almighty was hung on a tree as the word of God said anyone that is hung on a tree is a curse. So it became curse for every one of us that we today can have life and have life and more abundantly. So God we come this morning to salute you. We come this morning to salute you. We come this morning to say thank you daddy. Thank you God. Thank you Jehovah. You are good. You are good. Lord we, we could be of a Commodore Cemetery. We could be in Allah Cemetery this morning. We could be in the morgue. Oh God preparing. Oh God for burial. Oh God but we are here in the house of the Lord this morning. It's more than a privilege Lord to be alive today to be alive today we thank you Lord Jesus we thank you 
Many would like to have this privilege this morning. Many who are dead would like to be alive, would love to be alive today, but they are in the grave. Oh God, but we are here alive. Our hands can move, our feet can move, our head can move. We can talk. Lord Jesus, breath is inside of us. So we say, Thank you, God. Oh Jesus, Lord, in spite of the corona, or despite the corona, we still can glorify you, we still can worship you, we still can magnify you because you are God, you are Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Nisse Ekosida Basete, Yolobo Satata Kanerebo Shatata, Ribabo we can thank you this morning because of who you are we give you praise because of who you are Lord we lift our hands and worship you hallelujah Jesus thank you thank you thank you God thank you many are the blessing that you are giving unto us blessing of a flowing like a mighty sea Lord I want to thank you for your love your agape love towards me your unconditional love your infinite love towards us this morning we Thank you, God. Lord, this morning we, I place the service in your hands, God. We are few in numbers. But God, Lord, one thing I know about you, that you don't work with majority. You work with minority. You are a God who work. Because when you do your work, you don't want nobody to get your glory. Oh God, because you alone should get the glory, the honor, and the praise. So we are here in few. But God, we know that you, God, going to do something great in this servant I know that you're gonna move upon your people here and those oh God and different platform oh God Facebook and YouTube God I know that your power because God you're omnipresent you are everywhere you are here in Jamaica abroad you are God and I know that the power of God is not limited the power of God can reach every soul across this world. So right now, God, Lord, I pray that you will touch in the name of Jesus. Cover our pastor this morning. Breathe upon the man of God. Strengthen him, Lord. Continue to use him. Continue to speak to him, God. Speak to your servant, Lord. Just like you speak to Samuel. Oh, God. And Elijah and Elisha, speak to your servant. Oh God, reverend, read right now. Cover him on your blood. And sister, read. Breathe upon them. Lord, you have, you have taken them here for such a time like this. And I pray your coverage will continue to be upon him. Damn them under your blood. Oh God, and their children and grand. Oh God, and family right now, God. I pray for, oh God, the moderator, Sister Winsome. Cover and earn your blood. The praise and worship. The musician, the technical team. Lord, everyone, a place in your hands this morning. And those who are watching, oh God, and cyberspace. Touch, Lord God, this morning. Breathe upon your people. Even those in the community that is here in the steel on touch this morning Lord I pray that every unsaved that is in your house this morning that the power of God will reach them and convict them and convert them and transform them in the name of Jesus we call it done by the Father we call it done by the Son we call it done by the blessed Holy Spirit in Jesus name Hallelujah. 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 
Could we just lift our hands and worship? Could we just thank him this morning for his goodness and his mercy? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. There's another Powell in the house. Hallelujah. I would invite Deacon Merrick Powell to come now and to give to us the scripture for this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless the name you, of Jesus. Jesus. Bless your name, Jesus. Mm. Good morning, church. Our scripture reading will be taken from 1 Peter chapter 5 from verse 2 to verse 11. Hallelujah. Here begins. Be the Brethren that are in the word, but the, Lord, but the God of all grace, who hath called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that he hath suffered, strengthened, settled you. Verse 11 and last. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. We honor it by saying, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, no one ever shall be. Word without end. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Brother Powell. Hallelujah. This morning, I just want to tell the church that nothing can stop God's people. Nothing under the face of the herd can stop God's people. The government has placed a new rule and regulation. But God and his church will stand forever. So whether in church or at home or abroad, wherever you are this morning... If you could just lift your hands and worship him. Hallelujah. This morning I stand to acknowledge my bishop and his wife. This is a privilege and an honor this morning to acknowledge you. Sir, 
you are acknowledged. Mom, God bless you. This morning, for those who are at home, I just want to tell you that you are still in church. We are going to have church this morning, no matter where we are. Whether over by YouTube or Facebook or any other media. And those who are on the diaspora this morning, we acknowledge you too. Because I know that you are watching. And for those who are just tuning in, we just want to welcome you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Blessed Holy Spirit. You are welcome this morning. And I'm sure that you're going to enjoy the service this morning. Just open your hearts this morning and to receive what God has in store for you. For those who have not yet given your heart to God, I would invite you this morning to surrender to him because the time is running out. There is not much time for us because the church is on the go and Jesus Christ will come can come at any time so let us prepare ourselves let us get on board let us make sure that our call on election is sure this morning and so this morning I just want to say welcome 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 this song before I ask Bishop to come and to give his word of encouragement and I will just sing this song. Welcome Holy Spirit We are in your presence Fill us with your power Bishop comes, we will ask Sister Gordon to come now and to give the announcement and other information. Thank you. Can we continue to worship the Lord? Praise God. Truly the presence of the Lord is in this place. Praise God. Our notices for the Lindsay New Testament Church of God goes as follows. Our weekly activities has been canceled until further notice. 
Therefore, you are asked to continue to observe all protocols and guidelines issued by the government and the national office. You are also reminded that only 10 persons will be in the sanctuary on worship days, and especially those who will be participating in the day's program. Everyone else is encouraged to view and worship in the service online via Facebook, Lindsay New Testament Church of God, or via YouTube, the link will be sent in the groups. Please continue to wear your mask, sanitized, and if at any possible, at, and if possible, stay at home. Please feel free to leave your tithes and offering at the office between the hours of 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. starting today. Fasting service will be held on Wednesdays online. We continue to remember Sister Debbie Alexander and Sister Abigail in our prayers for the loss of their husband and father. Persons who require Sunday commentaries, please contact Sister Janice. These are the notices for today. Thank you for listening. God bless you. Continue to enjoy today's service. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please take note and be aware of what is happening. Bishop, I will now invite you now to come and to give your commentary to us right now. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I'm sure that we have a praise for the Lord today. I'm very sure that all of us have a praise for the Lord today. And wherever we are, we can raise our hands and raise our voices and give a praise to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, to the conquering Lion of the tribe of Judah who is worthy to receive all our praise and all our honor and all glory because he alone is worthy to be praised hallelujah and so we give the lord a rousing round of applause today come on let's put our hands together and give the lord a round of applause because he alone is worthy to be praised hallelujah glory to his matchless name Wow, what a mighty God we serve. I really give honor to my creator this morning. The creator of heaven and earth. The sustainer of my life and your life. The one who stands ready. Oh, just to come to our rescue in whatever situation we find ourselves we give the king of kings all the praise and all the glory and all the honor because he is worthy hallelujah glory to his matchless name praise god i really just want to now greet my brothers and sisters who are gathered here and i know that all over the world the, that are viewing on this telecast today will recognize that we first of all we are practicing what we preach to be obedient to our authorities and so we have been conforming to all the protocols that have been established by the government of jamaica and also by the national office our local governing body and i'd also like to now recognize all the persons who are tuning in to us um, who are not able to be here today. But I can tell you that the ten of us that are here, we feel like we are in a big field church to capacity today. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Because I believe that heaven has dispatched angels to occupy all these positions today. All these chairs that seem to be vacant. I believe that they are being occupied by the heavenly host today. And we are going to experience heaven touching earth today in the name of Jesus Christ. 
So wherever you are, as members of this church and friends and relatives, we welcome you to our Sunday morning service here from Commodore in St. Catherine. And we also want to welcome uh, and feel very special that we have persons who are tuning in on the World Wide Web. So whichever country you are viewing us from this morning, we say to you, welcome and thanks that you are joining us the way you are. We want to thank God for the technology that is available. Amen. That we can really give the wind a mighty voice today in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And so as we go across the airwaves, we just thank God for the opportunity that we can still praise Almighty God and that He is still our crowning King and coming King of glory. Hallelujah. So let's have church. Wherever you are, we are having church. Amen. And we say like the songwriter, we are inviting you all to come along because we are having a glorious time. We are going to the city where moonlight. Oh, we know. We know that there are good things coming out of this situation. The devil seems like he wants to shut us down and to keep us oh, under cover. But in the name of Jesus Christ, we are declaring that we are more than conquerors through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! We are not going under, but we are going over in the name of Jesus. God must get the glory out of all of this. Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. So none of us, we are going to run and hide and cover, but we are going to stand and declare that we serve a risen Savior who is in this world today. We know that he is living. Whatever men may say, because we see his hand of mercy and we hear his voice of cheer. And guess what, church of God? Every time we need him, he's always near. Clap your hands for Jesus, somebody. Hallelujah. 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 We are having church. We are having church in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so my brothers and sisters, as we seek to take care of the things around us, I want that we pay very special attention to the announcements that have been made because today, immediately after we are through by 11 o'clock, that persons are invited and the information is gone forth that they may come to this compound in an orderly and directed way by our security team um, just to do what you know that you have to do for the Lord. You have purposed in your heart that you are going to make sure that you support the activities of the church in all the various forms. And so there is a form um, of, of activity that you will participate in, that you usually participate in while you were in service. But because you are not here in the physical building with us, you know that you are invited to come down certainly between 11 and 1 and do what you know you have to do. And then in the week, um, Sister Gordon um, would have informed you maybe later on that on Tuesdays between 10 and 12 and Fridays between 10 and 12, you may also come by here and take care of the affairs of the church in a financial way. Amen? Amen? To God be the glory. We are also very, very favored um, with the fact that throughout this um, period of pandemic, that 
we the people of God continue to be faithful to God in all the ways we can. I know that you are remembering that we still have some indebtedness that we have been trying to um, take care of the last two to three weeks. We have not been able to sufficiently take care of those obligations. And so I remind the brethren, wherever you are, that you help us to cover our debts. Amen. There are some of our brothers and sisters who are experiencing loss by way of death. Just yesterday, um, uh, it was the funeral service here for our sister Lily. And of course, we want to continue to pray for the family, Sister Brown, and the rest of the family. And, and um, other persons that you have heard um, our treasurer made mention of early on who have lost loved ones. We want to pray for them this morning. Um, there are a number of our brothers and sisters that are not well as a result of the COVID um, pandemic and others who are not well otherwise. We are going to raise them up before the Lord today because we believe that we serve a God who is still doing the miraculous and he can still work on our behalf. This morning also, like we did last month, I'd just like to pray for all our brothers and sisters in the diaspora. And just last night, I was talking with a brother, and he asked that we pray for um, someone who is abroad, Barbara Rambert. We are going to just lift her up and others who are in the diaspora, you are now battling various challenges of your own. And many times it seems as if uh, there's no way out. But we recommend to you again that Jesus Christ is the answer. Whatever the situation that's confronting you, we are confident that the answer to these problems is alive and well. Amen. The answer is still alive. And it may sound a little bit offish, but I am being very scriptural here because he is the answer for the world today. And so therefore, he is the answer and our answer is alive. Amen. We do not seek our answers from inanimate things, but rather we seek answers from the true and living God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And so, my brothers and sisters, I'm going to ask now that we stand as we go to the Lord in prayer. There are many who are having serious challenges of many sorts. The economic conditions seem to be holding a strain on us in every given direction. But can I tell you that our God holds the resources of this world in his hands? And he's ready and available to release it into our care. And we are ready to receive it from his hands. And so we, we are going to go to the Lord in prayer. Hallelujah. Regardless of the challenges that you may be experiencing now in your life, in your family, in your personal space and circumstance. We recommend to you a God today who is touched with the feelings of our infirmities. We recommend a God to you today that is more than enough and more than able. And he can do much more than we can ask, think, or even imagine. That's the God we go to now. Oh, there is a song which says, Got you any rivers that seemeth uncrossable. Got you any mountains you can't tunnel through? Help me here, praise team. God specializes in things that seem impossible. And he'll do for us what no other power can do. Oh, our two members of the praise team, Sister English and Sister Edwards. We're just going to tune this song and so many others tuning in with us today. Praise God. Oh, 
Got you any mountains? Got you any mountains? Oh, you can't turn it through. You can tunnel through. God specializes. God specializes. In things thought impossible. In things so impossible. For you, he'll do for you what no other power can do. What no other power can do. Can I say to you that we not only sing that song, but we believe it? Yes. Amen. Amen. We believe it. Come on, let's sing it again, everybody. God, you any rivers that Crossable. Hallelujah. Got you any mountain? Oh, can't turn it through. You can turn it through. Oh, God specializes. God specializes in things not impossible. In things oh, impossible. Do for and you, you and you and you what a power can do. Hallelujah. God bless you. Those persons at home, in your business places, wherever you are, tuning in to this broadcast. I ask of you now. If you are having a pain in your body, wherever it is that may be hurting you, just place your hands right there, right now. Hallelujah. If there is a particular challenge that you are facing at your workplace, in your neighborhood, hey, whatever the challenge may be, in some fam family transactions and family relationships, I ask you now just to focus on, it, focus on it for a few minutes. It's as if we are bringing the attention to Almighty God and focusing on those areas and saying, God, this is where the pain is. God, this is where the problem is. God, this is where we're having the challenge. Hallelujah. And I have confidence in the God that we serve that he is going to zoom in right now and he's going to cancel that situation. He's going to cancel that pain. Hallelujah! He's going to turn around that situation because we are raising it up before him right now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah, your children come to you. Lord, we are calling to you from the ends of this earth. Oh God, everywhere life is found and your children are looking up to you now. Oh, because you are our only source. Lord, you, we know you were yesterday. You are today and you will be tomorrow. We cannot exhaust you because you are from everlasting to everlasting. And so now, Lord, we bring before you your children who are having challenges in their lives. Lord, we pray now that you will reach down and you will nullify those challenges that your children are facing. Many times, Lord, they find it even hard to concentrate on the positive things because it seems like negativity has taken over the situation but today in the name of jesus christ we focus our attention not on the problems but we focus on the problem solver in the name of jesus christ we focus not on the pain but on the pain reliever we focus not on the circumstances of life 
but the God who solves every circumstance in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we take our focus from the horizontal and we place it on the vertical. We look to the hills from whence cometh our help because our help comes from God who makes heaven and earth. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to the name of Jesus Christ. Father in heaven, your children look to you now. Oh God, wherever the deficiencies are, whether in their health status, financial status, family status, oh God, we know that the economic pressure has been laid in on us, oh God. But you are the greatest economist because you are able to turn things around. Lord, the wealth of this world, the, it is in your hands. And God, the resources oh, are in your care. And so we are confident that you can turn this around for your people. Lord, many persons are finding it difficult to take care of their daily demands financially. Many are struggling, oh God, to keep afloat. But Lord, we know that you are a miracle working God. Hallelujah! And there is nothing too hard for you if you can cause, oh God, um, two fishes and five loaves to feed the multitude. You can turn something around for your people today. Yes, Lord! You fed the, the leprous men when they entered into the enemy's camp. Lord, you run away the enemy so that your children could be fed. We are confident, Lord, that you can feed your people. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Glory to God. I declare today that none of your children shall die of hunger and starvation in the name of Jesus Christ. But thou great provider, Jehovah Jireh, oh, provide for your people in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, this provision stretches beyond the borders of Jamaica and to the ends of the earth where your children who are connected to this church are connected to this island wherever they are Lord we pray now oh for our brothers and sisters in the diaspora Lord you know them and you know what they are going through oh you know the circumstances that confront them but today, in the name of Jesus Christ, we speak a word of comfort. We speak a word of cheer. We speak a word of provision. We pray that you will open closed doors that have been closed against your people. And that they will walk in, 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 in the favor of God. And that you will get the glory. Provide jobs. Provide security of tenure for them lord many oh god may just need to just bring forth all paperwork in alignment with the requirements god we pray that that will happen father i commit your people in your care reach out lord and fill their store baskets and lord uh, cause them to recognize that whatever it is that you have blessed them with all they need to do is to honor you with their substance and their store baskets will never be empty so lord do your work yourself lord i cannot i don't know all the names but i call the name of barbara rambert and, and donovan perrin god 
we call the names of persons who right now are looking to you and there are others that i may not have but you know them by name we pray for brother gavin who is now hospitalized because of circumstances lord reach out and touch your people let a special visitation reach them now wherever they are and father we are confident that what you have done already you will do it again and we praise you and give you all the thanks because you are his majesty bless and redeem your people always in jesus name we pray and the people of god say amen 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 praise god hallelujah hallelujah glory to god hallelujah praise god it's it's time for the offering and those 10 of us that are here we are going to give our offering we brought our offering we are not taking it back home but we have brought sacrifices of praise and of our substance to give to the lord and i i know that later on persons will be coming by between 11 and 1 to do just what we are doing now and i'm going to just pray and believe God that he will touch that which will be given to him now. And that he will be glorified with our actions and our gifts. Praise God. Father, we are about to receive from your people the gifts that you have bestowed upon them. Hallelujah. Lord, your people are responding faithfully. To your instructions and today we give back to your glory you told us in your words that we should give and it will be given back to us it will be pressed down shaken together and it will be running over we take you at your word and father as your people make ready even to drive down or to walk down to this tabernacle at the time given to offer their gifts to you we pray that you will just bless those gifts now sanctify and multiply oh god those gifts and we are confident that you who are faithful will do that which you have said you will do thank you now and bless as we give in jesus name we pray Amen. Praise God. hallelujah thank you jesus hallelujah hallelujah Glory. we're about to give our tithes and our offering we are going to sing this song if you are in the battle for the lord and right just keep on the firing line. Hallelujah. In spite of everything that is going on right now in Jamaica and at other parts of the world, let us be on the firing line. A part of scripture said the enemy is like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. And brethren, the time is now when the enemy is on the rampage. He is just looking out for those who are vulnerable but this morning we are gonna be on the firing line so come on and let us sing this song hallelujah, hallelujah. if you're in the battle for the lord and right keep on the firing line if you win my brother surely you must fight oh keep on the firing line Keep on the firing line 
Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Without further ado, we are going to invite Sister Dahlia now to come and render an item. She's going to encourage us. So please sing along with her in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning, church. Good morning, Rev. Good morning, Sister Reed. Good morning to those on YouTube and Facebook. Hallelujah. Good morning, everyone. Bless the Lord. God is a good God. And I pray we'll all be ready for his return. Hallelujah. I pray we'll all be ready. I pray we'll all be ready. I pray we'll all be ready. Return. I pray that we'll get our business straight so we can all meet at the I pray we'll all be ready for his return. I pray we will all be ready. Oh, I pray we will all be ready. I pray we will all be ready for his return. I pray that we'll get our business straight. So we can all be at the gate. I pray we'll all be ready for his return. Two men walking by the road. One of them had a heart of gold. The skies bit open the poor in heart was ruptured away but the one left behind who did not burn his heart in time he cried to the Lord but it was too Oh, I pray we will all 
the rapture came and took that one above. The other one rose on the next day to put their loved ones raptured away.
Are you ready? Are you ready this morning? That if the Lord should return at this moment in time, we already get our business straight. Hallelujah. The word of God said in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, the Lord can put in his appearance. I want to be ready. I want to be ready this morning. Hallelujah. I pray we'll all be ready. For those all around us. Let us get our business straight. Let us put away the things that are not convenient. Let us put down everything, every weight and every sin that so easily beset us. And let us run the race with patience, looking unto Jesus, the art and finish of our faith. At this time, I'll now get out of the way and allow my bishop to come on now and to continue to tell us how we must be get um, we must be ready what we must do to be ready hallelujah my bishop i invite you now to come to the point. hallelujah thank hallelujah you, thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. hallelujah glory to god Wow, can we just raise our hands and praise the Lord in this sanctuary or at home or wherever we are. Let's raise our hands and praise the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. What a very, very powerful uh, sermon that was in song. Oh, because that's what... Uh, is the ultimate that we must be ready when Jesus comes and so since hallelujah since last year September we have been recognizing the fact that we as God's people must be rapture ready amen hallelujah hallelujah so sister Dahlia that was a carefully oh orchestrated song to help us along the journey oh I pray we all be ready when jesus comes because if we are not ready when jesus comes we would have lost it all ah our entire life would have gone down the drain but we want to be ready and waiting oh so that when jesus put in his appearance we will be ready to go with him. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. And Sister Winsome was just reminding us that that's one of the reasons we are here today. To just be a part of that preparation process. That's why we are here. Oh, COVID has unleashed oh, his, his negative influence on the church. But guess what? We are here. And we are not going to run and hide. We are going to be getting ready even in this time. Amen. So whenever the Lord choose to return, we will be ready and waiting to go with Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be his holy name. Father, woo, we make ready now, praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, to just hear another word from you. Ever since we got here this morning, you have been speaking to us in psalms and hymns and whatever way you have been. And now, Lord, we now go to the spoken word we ask that you'll just break the bread of life to us your children cause us to feed now and be nourished spiritually that we'll be lifted up into heavenly places now we are not 
inviting you to be here but rather we are welcoming you because we know your presence and your spirit and your power is already in this place and so we welcome you God the Father God the Son and God the Holy Spirit hallelujah host of angels battalions of angels we welcome you we welcome you hallelujah and we say to you have your way in our lives now let the government of this service be upon your shoulders and your name be glorified in jesus name and the people of god say amen praise god hallelujah can we praise the lord again somebody hallelujah are we really declaring today that god has been very good yes god has been very very good to us the the there are many scriptures that will be used today to help to bring credence to this presentation I'm very sure that you will be prepared to flip with me as I go along. And I'd want to say to our congregation, whether here or wherever you are, that some Sundays ago, the Lord God opened the opportunity for me to start a series and we were able to complete two of those series. Week before last, it was intended to be completed. But God had his own way when we released everything into his hands. And we had a praise service that Sunday. But we come back today to seek to bring closure. And I know that you have been listening very keenly to the two previous presentations wherein we sought to help our brothers and sisters to surrender to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Surrendering to the Lordship of Jesus. And we really use the opportunity to declare what surrender means you're gonna give up completely you are not your own but you belong to almighty god amen when you say it is not my will but thy will be done yes when we crucify self and allow god to arise in our lives and to be able to shape and to direct our lives and carry us into paths that he designed for us. So that speak of the surrendering of ourselves. And so we speak of the surrendering of our will. And surrendering of our ways. And today I'm going to share with you the third part in this. Surrendering our words surrendering our will surrendering our ways and surrendering our words my brothers and sisters we ask ourselves the question what is a word and a word is a vocal sound or a combination of sounds and words can be spoken or written. Words are used as a means of communication. And so there are various ways of communicating. But words are the most popular. That seem to carry communication across every border and across every country my brothers and sisters i'd want to help us to understand 
that words are very, very, very powerful. The way we use words, therefore, can either bring negative or positive results. My brothers and sisters, I want to declare to you that this is one person who does not agree with the statement that word is wind. No, I know that words are very, very powerful. And words, my brothers and sisters, should help us to understand that this is not just a passing experience, but rather it is a way of allowing others to understand that the way we use words can really do many things. Words can either hurt or words can heal. Hallelujah. Words, my brothers and sisters, can either blast or it can bless. Words, my brothers and sisters, can either sever or separate or it can bring forth togetherness. Words, my brothers and sisters, can either uplift or pull down. So we need to understand that words are powerful. Words are so powerful that when words were spoken through the inspiration of Almighty God in Genesis chapter 1, starting at verse 3, the word of the Lord says, And God said, and guess what? Because God said it, it was so. It came into being and things happen. And all of that is because of spoken word. Hallelujah. And if you read through the rest of Genesis chapter 1, you will see the many instances where God said. And because God said it, God, there is power in word. Amen. Hallelujah. So I want to share with us today that knowing the potential danger of the spoken word, it is therefore important that we think about the possible effects of our words before we use these words carelessly. Can I repeat that? Knowing, knowing the potential danger of the spoken word, it is therefore important that we think about the possible effects of our words before we use them carelessly. Life has taught us many lessons. And one of those lessons is that there are three things that cannot come back after they have been expended. One of that is the spent arrow. Two, the missed opportunity. And thirdly, the spoken word. Hallelujah. Brother, brother, brother Powell, I want to say to us that if there is nothing else that is true in this life, when there is a spent arrow, we can't retrieve it. When there is a missed opportunity, it's gone. And when we have expended the spoken word, it cannot be taken back. Many times, my brothers and sisters, I'd want to say to many of us, think before speaking. Because explanation and apologies cannot change the effect of the spoken word, Sister English. Hallelujah. And more so as the people of God. I want to reassure us that we need to make very sure that we use words 
as is inspired by Almighty God to cause a betterment in the lives of individuals. Hear what Matthew chapter 12 says. Matthew chapter 12 verses 33 to 37. Very, very clearly it speaks to us today. And that's the first text that I'd want to share with us. Matthew chapter 12, 33 to 37. Hear what it says. It says, I either make the tree good and his fruit good or else make the tree corrupt and his fruit corrupt for the tree is known by his fruit. Listen, I'm speaking to the people of God who are supposed to be the representatives of Almighty God. He says, O oh, generation of vipers, how can you being evil speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth is going to speak. Can I tell you, my brothers and sisters, he says, a good man out of the good treasure of the heart bringeth forth good things. And an evil man out of the evil treasure bringeth forth evil things but i say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak they shall give an account thereof in the day of judgment for by thy words thou shalt be justified and by thy words thou shalt be condemned my brothers and sisters i rest my case that words have effect and we must be careful how we use words because they have either negative or positive effect well, i say to us the brothers and sisters that as scripture says before us that out of the abundance of the heart the mouth is going to speak when we open our mouths people know who we are Glory to God. If our heart is filled with joy and peace, when we open our mouths, people know. And if our hearts are filled with all sorts of negative and, and barbaric thoughts, when we open our mouths, it is by the abundance of our heart we are going to be speaking, Sister Reed. So people will be able to measure us. And so I says to us this afternoon that our words are a reflection of the condition of our hearts. Hallelujah! Glory to God. I wish somebody would understand today that as pastor of this church that I wish above all things that the people of God of Commodore and those hearing will line up themselves with Almighty God in such a way that when we open our mouth to speak somebody will be blessed somebody will be edified and god will get the glory clap your hands for jesus somebody can i say to you that when a person speaks his words can be used to expose what you are thinking whether it be negative or positive. Oh God. Hallelujah. You see my brothers and sisters. I remember presenting a, 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 a sermon one day. And it, it, it is simply this. The heart of the problem. Is that there is a problem with the heart. Hello. Think about it. The heart of the problem that we are having around us is that there is a problem with the heart. And I may have to just share that at some point in time in this congregation. Because we want our people to line up behind the word of God. Listen to me, church of God. I don't want it to be said that you are doing what you are doing because of Pastor Reed. It is not Pastor Reed, but Pastor Reed is only the conduit 
that, that the spirit of the Lord will flow through and will use as an oracle to communicate the things of God with God's people. To share the words that God would want us to, to make it abide in our heart that we can be better Christians and better citizens and better people of this country and of this world. Hallelujah! So I can tell you this. I am not going to concentrate on the pandemic that is around us. Because this pandemic must end somewhere. But in the time when the pandemic is having its effect, the people of God needs to be grounded in the word of God. Hallelujah! The people of God need a word that will cause them to stand up and declare that there is a God somewhere and can give a reason for their belief. Woo! So I can tell you, I'm not going to join a pity party and, and COVID, COVID, COVID. No, no, no. I'm not going to give that the time of my life. But in the meantime, I'm going to help by the spirit of almighty God to build up God's people on a strong spiritual foundation that when the winds and the waves come and when they rock us and shake us, we know that we are solid in the word and none of these things move us. So let us talk about the effects of word. Hallelujah. Here, my brothers and sisters, here is what Colossians 4 and verse 6 says. Colossians 4 and verse 6 says, Let your speech, mm -hmm. let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that they may know how he ought to answer every man. Hallelujah. Did I tell you early on? That your words can either be positive or negative. Here is it. Paul writing to the, the church in Colossian, Colossa. And saying to them, guess what? Your words that you use. Talk to me, church of God. Both in communicating with the people of God. Or the people of the world. Must be seasoned with grace. It must be of a particular standard. Hallelujah. It must have certain ingredients that make it tasty. Jesus Christ help us today. Hallelujah. Can I use a, can I use a little analogy to help us to understand what Paul was saying right here so. When you are getting ready for, for cooking, that you clean up that meat and you season it up from overnight. Because many persons going home today to eat after service. You season, many times you season up that meat from yesterday evening. You put in all your, your seasoning products in it and you put it down. And what happens is that over time, that meat will absorb from the various seasoning a flavor. So that when you're ready to cook your chicken or whatever it is you're going to be cooking this evening. Sometimes you see a half mile down the road and smell it because guess what? It is well seasoned and it's coming out in a particular way. Hallelujah. This is what Paul was saying to the church in Colossia. Guess what? Make sure that the words you use are seasoned with grace. Hallelujah. Not only an unskeleton and time, but it is seasoned with grace because your heart is at a place with God so that when you open your mouth and speak, that it is flavorful. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. So, brothers and sisters, we have some work to do. We have some work to do where our words are concerned. We spoke about the will and our ways. But let's look at what the word is doing. The entire three-part series have shown 
that if we are fully surrendered to the Lordship of Jesus, then our will, our ways, and our words will conform to his likeness. Hallelujah. What we are seeking to establish is that when we are through dissecting the word of God and when we are through subtracting the nutrients that are rested there in the word of God it should make us a better person hallelujah we cannot afford for the word of God like somebody says to run off like water off the back of a duck no but it must penetrate and have a positive effect so that we be the representatives of God in this troublesome world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I wish above all things, my brothers and sisters, that we will take this serious. Because you see, when we think about occupying planet earth, we don't know when we are going to leave here. But for the time that we are here, we must be ambassadors for Almighty God. While we are here on planet earth, we are ambassadors. We are bound for another city. We are bound for another country. But we are occupying here. And it is important, my brothers and sisters, that those we are occupying with must feel the full effect of a person who has been to Calvary and who has known Jesus Christ. Oh God, help me. 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, Whosoever be in Christ is a new creature. All things must pass away. God. I think it was in the last presentation I, I said to you very assuredly that, that we must be changed. We must be agents of change. And we ourselves must change too. So not because you, we're going to say boy your grandmother was this or your grandfather was that. So you must be the same. No! You are a new creature says God. And so my brothers and sisters when we think about all that is happening around us, one of the things that we need to be doing every day is that we want to be like Jesus. Hallelujah. I hear the song man says, to be like Jesus. That's all I ask, to be like him. All through life's journey, from earth to glory, that's all I want to be, to be like Jesus. Do you want to be like Jesus? Do you want to be like Jesus? We all must be like Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We must be like Jesus so much so that when we walk through the streets of Linstead or walk the streets of Commodore and when we utter praises to God and when you drive in your car or reach a stoplight, somebody must know that you are different from the other drivers. Hallelujah. When we go to the market, the supermarket owner must know that you're different because you get over change and you give it back because I know for you because you are different. Oh Lord God, you may not like this, but is the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. I'm going to declare to you the mind of Almighty God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. When we go into the taxis, and every conversation taking place in the taxi, you must be a part of. Because your words different from the words of the driver. Different from the rest of passenger. Oh, church of God, I wish we could understand that our words must be different. Hallelujah. And it may seem simple to some persons, but I tell you, our words are powerful. 
our words must bring forth change for the glory of God. You know, on the contrary, because Satan knows the power of negative, hurting, aggressive, insulting words, he cunningly gets individuals who will yield themselves to him to tear down and destroy one another. Oh God, this sound heavy. But it's the truth. Can I repeat it for emphasis? And you, you, wherever you are in your homes, listen to this. Wherever you are in another country maybe, listen to this. Pause and listen. I say, because Satan knows the power of negative, hurting, aggressive, insulting words. He cunningly gets individuals who will yield themselves at those who are not so careful about what they say or do. To tear down and destroy one another. And what are you, you, you using to do that? Words. What are you using? Words. Because words are powerful, Sister Winsome. And whether you use negatively or positively will have an effect. The tongue of a brother or sister can cause trouble in the church. Oy, oy. Hey. The tongue, the wrongful use of the tongue can cause serious trouble in church. Hello, somebody. And I want to say to us that church people tongue are causing trouble right now in many congregations. And you want me to say including Linstead? Hello. Hello. So we must be careful. And so my brothers and sisters, I want you in your own time to read through James. And James gives us a whole lot of information about the nature of the tongue. Read it. And I'm going to carry it here as a Bible study. We're going to be looking at the nature of the tongue right here in this congregation. And we'll find the 14 kinds of tongues that are at work causing problems and giving trouble all around. But I want, even as I give the negative side, I want to give the positive side. Because it's not only negative, but it is also positive. The truly surrendered believer will Say like in Psalm 119, verse 11. What does Psalm 119 and verse 11 says? Very, very clearly. It says that we, the people of God, we have a responsibility. Psalm 119 and verse 11. It says, my brothers and sisters, that thy words have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against God. Hallelujah. And you know if we want to take it from, from verse 9 because it said, We are which shall a young man cleanse his ways by taking heed according to what? According to the word of Almighty God. Psalm 119 verse 9. With my whole heart have I sought thee? Oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. Because when we seek the Lord and want to be like Jesus, then we can say in verse 11, Thy words have I hid where in my heart that I might not sin against my God. And so here is it. That David was now bringing out the fact that when a man speaks, like he said before, that exposes your heart. And so we do not want to sin against God when we open our mouths to speak. And so we are going to hide the word of God. We are going to treasure the word of God. We are going to put the word of God in a secluded space 
in our heart so that when we open our mouth then it is the heart of God being revealed and when we speak it is seasoned with grace because the word of God is hid in our hearts praise God forevermore I feel like somebody want to just take a praise break here and praise the name of the Lord let's praise him somebody hallelujah Oh, hallelujah. My, my, my brothers and sisters, we need to recognize that when we hide the word of God in our hearts, there are tremendous benefits that will come from that. When we hide our, the word of the Lord in our hearts, then I'm saying to you that it, it is a part of the transforming process. And, and, and Paul writing to the Roman church in chapter 12 he says be not conformed to this world but be transformed by what? by the renewing of your heart and so when our hearts are, 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 are the receptacles of the spirit of God then that heart must become transformed because he who rules in our heart is the one who is helping us to be reflecting him in whatever we say or do can i tell you children of god i am proud to be called a child of god hallelujah i am excited when i can recognize that for all that is happening around us I can stand boldly and declare anywhere I go, in any circle I find myself, that I am a child of God. And the good thing about it is that my life and my words match up. Lord God, help us today. Hallelujah. My life and my words match up. There is no controversy. In what I say, as opposed to what I do. Lord, help me today. If I could find the opportunity to, 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 to come up with an injection or a vaccine. That could, that could pump some God in the hearts of some people. Hallelujah. And I'm going to say something here that may frighten you. That some of those same people who need that injection, they come to church every Sunday. Mm -mm. that's a very hard pill to swallow but can I tell you my brothers and sisters that there, 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 there are enough evidences to prove that many times persons who can I say come to church from you reach a church gate we discover the problem with you and you come to the the, the main gate to be sanitized and temperature check and we find out say no man something wrong right or so because because there is no peace in your mind and there is no there, there is no seasoning in your speech hallelujah but you come rather to attack and to carry down and to tear down i call upon the people of god wherever you are today to make sure that we, we, we allow the grace of God to abide in our hearts so that we will be able to show forth the glory of God in our speech and our actions. Hallelujah. And, and, and don't, 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 don't run away as your pastor now. But can I say that if, it, if, if we see those things when you are in the church compound, coming to church, then God bless how you behave when you're outside there, so. Because if it is on church property with your brothers and sister, we detect certain deviant behavior. Then I say to myself, it is worse outside there, sir. Our words, my brothers and sisters, must be used to edify God. And so David did not finish with us. But David says in Psalm 119, 
105, he says, Thy word, hallelujah, is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Hallelujah. I don't know how many of us um, used to use buckle torch and then a tinning lamp and a graduate to candle and graduate to flashlight and no phone light. Things have evolved, Sister Gordon. But I remember that there are many times while I was growing up in the rural hills of the cockpit country in Trelawney that when I was sent to shop at nights, we have to use a bottle lamp. Amen. And I'm sure I shared that some time ago. We use a bottle lamp to see where we are going. And when we reach near to shop, we blow the bottle lamp and hide it on the grass root. And when you get served a shop and come back, you light up your bottle lamp and go on home again. Those who born in the town, like Sister Reed, don't have a clue what we're talking about. <laughs> but that's where, we, that's where your husband is coming from. Amen. And I can use that example now and align it to the word of God. Because this is what David was saying as he points in, in this 105th segment of the psalm. He said, thy word is a lamp unto my feet. So the, the word of God is the light that shines in the darkness, eradicate the darkness, so that the people of God can walk in newness of life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word of God must eradicate the darkness so that the people of God can walk in light because Jesus Christ is that light. Hallelujah. Can I tell you, because of the entrance of God's word, we don't have to stumble and fall because there is provision because he is the light of the word and the word of God should be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. So we see it shining here and we see it shining out there. This is our feet. We need to put our foot right. And we must know that we are walking in the right direction. That's what the entrance of God's word does. Hallelujah. So can I tell you? We did not come with a COVID message today. Hello somebody. It's not a COVID message. But this is full surrender. To the lordship of jesus christ because we must survive covid and come out better at the end of it hallelujah glory to god and so as i trod on my brothers and sisters can i say to you as we seek to bring the curtains down do not use words that will deceive i remember when i was preparing to share in the midnight hour, so to speak, I have a, my wife knows, I have a notebook on my, my, on my bedside table. And any time that I get a word, me just jot it down because by the time I sleep and wake, me no must remember it. <laughs> that you better be. Me no must remember it. So me jot it down. Regardless how how oh, oh, we scribble it, it sometime in the darkness or with the light there. But I note it because I want to remember it. Amen. And so, my brothers and sisters, these words came to me that we should not use words that deceive. There are many times we deceive people because of the words we use. Don't polish it up and make it pretty. And when you know, say, I know so the thing go. They call that a misrepresentation of the truth. Hello. Hello. Or some people say you are using the truth carelessly. What am I telling you? A lie you tell. A lie you lie. Amen. Christian not supposed to tell lie. Can I, can I talk it as clear and straight of that? No. No, man. Let your yea be yea. 
and your nay be nay. People must be able to trust you, Brother PJ, based on the words that you use. We should never deceive people with cunning speeches or enticing arguments. No. Oh, God. Oh, somebody's feeling that I'm on the war path today. But it's not, it's not really warring. But it's helping to edify God's people. Amen. That we walk the straight and narrow path. Because we are surrendering ourselves to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. It's not surrendering to the dictates of Jeff Reed. It's not surrendering to the pastor that now serves you. No. That's not where we are going. But we are saying that we are surrendering ourselves to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. And what he says we will do. Where he sends we will go. Where he leads we will follow. Hallelujah. So even when the time comes. Brother PJ. Sister Janice. When Sister Reed and I. Attend this church for the last day. And someone else still comes to pastor this church. I'm saying to you. That don't worship no man. No worship no pastor. Hallelujah. No worship me. But worship the true and living God. Set your eyes on Jesus. And worship him alone. Oh hallelujah. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face. And the things of this world. The things of this life. Man's turn for God will fade into insignificance when we are able to see God through the written word and not only to see God through the written word but to live God through the spoken word hallelujah oh blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ can I tell you brothers and sisters that many times and this happens not only in New Testament Church of God, but in other denominations. And in the New Testament Church of God, I will admit that the pattern that seems to go right across the landscape is that we be pastor-centered. And so all direction is coming from the pastor and directed to the pastor. The pastor is the key person in all things. And of course, we need to offer leadership. But our leadership should lead people to Jesus. Amen. 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 So it's not my creeds and norms and pronouncement but what does the word of God says and the word of God is saying to us that we should not use our words to deceive we should not use our words to destroy hello I have come face to face with persons who were ardent visitors supporters and was at the point of getting their lives sorted out to be a part of denomination or congregations and one word one negative word sister Gordon from somebody from up at this pulpit here so turn them off for life hello turn them off for life and so I pause here to say to every ministering servant that we need to understand our role so that we are able to lead people to God and to build them up spiritually so that they be able to draw from the rich resources of God you see my brothers and sisters if we're not careful we destroy God's people and I can tell you, if we destroy God's people, we are answerable to God. Because their blood will be upon our shoulders. Uh, my brothers and sisters, if we cause people to stumble because of our divisive words, 
Because our destructive word, we are answerable to God. Can kill Abel out in the field. And when God showed up and said, Where is your brother? When God faced him and said, Am I my brother's keeper? And God said, All right, good. Listen to me, your brother's blood is crying out to me. Hello, somebody. Hello. I don't want anybody's blood, Brother P, to cry out because I led them astray or, or, or I destroy them because of my word. Talk to me, church of God. If you really need to experience the blessings of God, then your words must be seasoned with grace. Your word must bring forth life because it is the agent of change positive change not destructive change so we must not use words that destroy other people Jesus help us today can I tell you that sometimes you will say some things and you don't even know it, the effect it has on others but if you get to know sister English that you may say something about Sister Winsome. And Sister Winsome hear it and not like it. And she asks you, if I true? Yes, you say so. And you are sorry. And you apologize. You didn't mean for her to hear it the way the agent carry back. It was misleading. But this is what I said. But if you are offended, I am sorry. Be never too big to say you are sorry. Hello, somebody. But then again, remember that it's best for you to weigh your words before you sell it. Because one of the things, as I said before, you cannot bring back the spoken word. It is gone already. So therefore, make sure that you check your words before you speak. Oh, Jesus. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying my, my very best to bring this thing home. And do not use our words to divide. So we should not use our words to deceive. Words should not be used to destroy. And we should not use words to divide. Oh God. Many times. Many times. Words that are uh, spoken splinter up the congregation. Words that are, that are used divide families. Words that are used divide political parties and countries. Words that are used. It can either divide or it can pull together. I say to us, we should not use divisive words. If you, if you don't know the truth, nobody say nothing. If you hear something and you don't know exactly how it go, it better you keep silent. But your lips are not say nothing. Because many times how it goes back that's not how it was intended. And a lot of the time, that's not how it was said. So, 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 one of our folk icon, Louise Bennett, said, Kiba, you moat. Kiba, you moat. Keep your mouth closed. Keep your mouth, brother P, thank you, under subjection. Keep your words under subjection. And don't let your words go forth and dis devise people. What I say to all of us, as I seek to conclude, seek to use words that will help, not hurt. Use words that will help, not hurt. Use words that will help, not hurt. Also, I beg my congregation, let us use words that will heal and not hinder. Let us use words that will bring healing. So we are going to throw in the oil 
and we're going to throw in all those agents that will help the situation instead of hurting the situation. And my last word to you today comes to us from Psalm 19 and verse 14. And I write it down here and I said this becomes our benediction. Psalm 19 and verse 14. I am happy to say to you that Sister Reed and I and the family, each time that we pray, 90% of the times or more, we quote these words. Verse 14 of Psalm chapter 19 says, and this is a benediction, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart, praise God, be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Honey, I'm sure we feel good that we have adopted this particular verse to be a part of our closing prayer most of the time. Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Can I ask that the congregation here at Commodore seek to adapt, adopt this benediction so that every time you are about to open your mouth, you will say, Lord, let the words of my mouth. Oh God, let the words of my mouth, let the words that I project, let the communication that I seek to have, let the conversation that I seek to be a part of, come adore, brothers and sisters, and all who are watching from wherever, let the words of my mouth and the meditation, the things I think about in my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Because sometimes person will say, me never say it, but you have it in your heart and God knows what is in your heart. So therefore we want to make our hearts clean before Almighty God. Let it be acceptable in his sight. Oh Lord, my strength, and my redeemer hallelujah my brothers and sisters god is depending upon us even as we submit to his lordship that our will our ways and our words will match up to his standard i i exhort all of us today let's just get back to that place where everything that we would want to say or do, we go to the Lord in prayer. Lord, is this your will? Lord, should we do this? How do we do this, Lord? We seek your direction. We seek you to lead us now. And when I'm going to open my mouth, I pray that I will be a reflection of the, the, the abiding presence and power of Almighty God so that others will be seasoned by grace because our words are seasoned by the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Let us look to the Lord in prayer. Father, thank you for your words to our hearts today. Thank you for speaking to us the way you have. You know Oh God, that I am fully convinced. Oh, in what I share with, you, with the believers today and all those who are tuning in. You know that my heart bleeds when things go wrong because of the wrongful use of words. Lord, persons will not think about what they say before they say it. And a lot of the times, Lord, it creates turmoil and all sorts of 
problems within the church. And everybody is looking to the pastor to fix it. But if they had fixed their heart before, then they would not have used those words and there would be no need to now be doing maintenance. Father, I speak over this congregation that your people will come under the authority of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. So that in their lives, Lord, they will be representatives of the kingdom. They will be ambassadors for God because they are presenting God in this troublesome world. And so, Father, reach out and touch now. We crave your presence upon the lives of all believers that you will take full control in these times of epidemic, pandemic, and all kind of sicknesses. We pray that you will stand by your people and your people will seek oh, to draw closer to you and to get deeper in you so that at the end thereof we'll come out stronger, we'll be more powerful and we'll be more grounded in Jesus Christ. Father, bless your people now. Wherever they are watching or listening from, those ten of us that are here, keep your hands upon us and may you keep us until eternity because we mean to make it into heaven father bless and preserve now and keep us until jesus comes or when he calls us home in jesus name we pray and the people of god say amen praise god my brothers and sisters god bless you richly i'm going to ask you to turn with me to 205 in our songbook and that's what we sing for our closing today 205 sing them over again to me wonderful words of life let me more of their beauty see wonderful words of life words of life and beauty teach me faith and duty beautiful words wonderful words Wonderful words of life. Praise God forevermore. Hallelujah. Praise Steve. Take it away. Mr. Music.